fabulous Friday. I'm Christine Pallara. You've got questions, we have answers. Scott Chaucer from Flawless Painting is back to sort through all of your painting problems. And he is here with expert advice to get your home looking its absolute best. Now, Scott, before we actually dive into the questions, and last week, that was a lot of fun. It we was. have a lot of you viewers who have a lot of painting questions. We want to talk about Flawless, because you have mm -hmm. been around, been an expert in helping people's homes look phenomenal for the last, over 10 years, almost 15 years. Almost 15 years. years. So tell us your background. Well, we got started back in 2000, you know, painting one house at a time. I got downsized from corporate America, unfortunately, which has happened to so many folks. And then, you know, I fell back on something that I love to do. And so we became one of those custom home painters that really drills down to accommodate customers, you know, situations, whether it's inside or out. And it's just been phenomenal and grown, you know, much more than I ever expected. But that's how we got our start. And, you know, that's our forte, inside and outside custom painting. Absolutely. Inside, outside, commercial properties, you name it. He does it. If it involves a paintbrush and paint, he's your man. And we have some great questions. I want to make sure we dive right in because I think we have several. So uh, first one, Lance, are there types of paint I should be aware of before choosing an exterior paint or are all exterior paints the same? Uh, that's a great question. I mean, a lot of folks don't really know what to do with when they take over a house that's maybe been painted three or four or five times. You know, you're supposed to use latex paints over latex paints and certain paints for the woodwork and the trim so that pops versus maybe stucco in the siding on the house. So there's so many different elements that you have to be aware of and you never want to use uh, latex paint over oil-based paint and sometimes we get to a house and we find out that oil-based paint has been used and in this environment Atlanta that is a no-no it will never withstand the heat and the humidity and the moisture so the real important uh, aspect of painting getting a job started is a great question okay excellent and now is there from Jesse if there is a chalky or powdery substance on the exterior. Can I paint over this or do I need to power wash? If so, what kind of power wash cleaner do I use? Another great question. Yeah, phenomenal question. And a lot of folks, I go up to their house and I'll touch it and it kind of feels chalky, like you get a resin on your hands, just like chalkboard. And then you know that Number one, the house definitely needs painting. Number two, the house definitely needs to get clean first. And the types of cleaners we use is from the, all the leading paint stores or Home Depot or Lowe's. And you can get an eco-friendly bleach these days that doesn't affect your plants and flowers. Because I get that question asked a lot to right. me. You know, oh, what's going to happen then? But if you got the proper people pressure washing the house that are usually the painters, that's what we do best. You know, they know how to pressure wash the house. We know how to stay away from affecting your plants and flowers since we're coming up on springtime. I get asked that almost all the time, but when you get a chalky su surface, you're definitely in need of a paint job. Okay, and the next question kind of relates to that as well. Birdo says, do you re recommend uh, power washing, which he just said, usually they do, leave it to the pros. Mm -hmm. But if so, how long do we have to wait? Well, it's a great question. I mean, now we're getting into the warmer temperatures finally. So when you come and I get to your house and we pressure wash it in the morning, you know, for the time, uh, let's say it takes two or three hours, depending upon the size of the home, you know, usually by late afternoon, you could start doing some of the prep work. We never usually pressure wash and paint the same day. We don't work that quick. Now, some companies like to claim the fame where well, we can get your house done in two days. That's not what we're about. Right. We got to take the necessary steps to do the project correctly. So you usually should wait maybe half a day to a day to maybe start putting some paint on the house after you pressure wash it and have prepped it. But by the way, the projects you did at my house were very efficient. I mean, whatever the whatever the timeline was, you you adhered to that. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes with exteriors, it's different because of the weather. Oh, correct. But both of my rooms were interiors, and when you said you were out, you were out. So that <laughs> and that's nice. Okay, next question is Adam. Can I save money if I do the prep work? What do you well, say to that? Well, here's the situation with that. It's a it's a real good question actually because if somebody says to me, Scott, I'll do the prep work, you do the paint, and I'll say. Okay, I'll do that, but on one condition, there's no warranty on the house from me. Because that way, we haven't done the pressure wash and we haven't done the prep work. We can't really stand behind the work that we've done. You can hold my feet to the fire, so to speak, if we do all the pressure washing and all the prep work. So it could save you money, but also in the end of the day, they're not professional painters and they don't do it every day. So chances are we're going to do it better and more efficiently. Excellent. Good answer. All right, next one, Steve. What are things to consider when choosing a color for the outside of the house? Well... This is a great question. You know, the fad, 
I call it, <laughs> is going to dark colors and a lot of the, you know, deep base colors. And it's kind of a trend. You know, the classic looks are still the creams and the whites and sure. so on and so forth. And we talked about color trends on the last show for inside. Color trends for the outside is basically crisp, clean colors. If you go to some of these build the houses that are being built today, they're going to do some crisp, clean, bright colors, maybe with a dark color as an accent, maybe on the gutters or downspouts or the shutters or a front door. Right. And the darker colors will fade faster. Right. Right. And also you get more wood rock quicker because think of it as I you wearing a black t-shirt and me wearing a white t-shirt. Right. Who's hotter in the summer? Right. You. Yeah, it's good. the same thing it's with the house. Interesting. The house is getting beat day after day with a deep base color. It will not last as long. It looks great, but you have to take that into consideration. Absolutely. Great questions from you viewers out there and great answers, of course. And you have a special for Atlanta and Company viewers I want to make sure we get to that has worked. It's an exclusive deal just for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've done this time and time again for several years now, and the offer's great. As long as you spend over $1,000 in labor, you get up to 25% off, whether it's an inside or outside project. You know, now we've got spring break coming up. Right. We've got warmer weather coming up. People are going to start attacking the outsides of their houses. The They're decks. going to start doing the decks. And, you know, if people are going on spring break, they don't think we can paint, we can still paint your house. Wouldn't put anybody in your house that I wouldn't put in mine. Yeah. So again, it's up to 25% off and that's on labor as long as you spend over $1,000. Awesome, Scott. Thank you so much. It's, it's been really informative the last two weeks. But if you want to learn more information about Flawless Painting, head to FlawlessPainting.com or give them a call, 678-386-7899.